and welcome to Simple Cooking. Today we're going to do a different twist on a mac and cheese. We're going to make a crabby mac and cheese and you don't have to be crabby to make it. We're going to start off with some beautiful lump crab. This is gorgeous and you can um, you know, just pull this out. You can also, if you don't want to use crab or you only want to use half crab, you can um, use a little bit of crab. You can chop up some shrimp if you want or some scallops and make it a seafood mac and cheese too. So you have your whole meal in one pan, which is great for all of us that are busy and we want something that's warm and, you know, satisfying, but we don't have a lot of time. So we're going to go ahead and start and get this together. We're going to use two eggs and pour those into our mixing bowl. To that, we're going to add some sour cream. So you know it's going to be good. Then we're going to add in a little bit of some dried ground mustard to this and a little salt and pepper. So we're just going to add a little salt and a little ground pepper to this and give it a whisk. And then we're going to start adding in our um, more wet or liquid ingredients. We're just going to give that a whisk. We're going to add to this some milk and some chicken broth. And you can use your own chicken sock if you have it or um, store bought. Just mix this together. Or if you don't have any on hand but you have some chicken bouillon cubes, you can use that as well. That's what I always use when I'm defaulting. And then we're gonna add in some hush puppy mix with onions. And this is gonna give it some great flavor and some great body in your recipe. So we're just gonna mix all that together and once that is mixed, and then we're going to start adding in our pasta. And I've got some elbow macaroni or elbow pasta here, and I like to use the kind that has a little bit of whole wheat in it. Just, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of nutrition in my children. So um, you're gonna add this into that. You're gonna add six cups of cooked pasta. It's a great way to use leftover pastas too. So if you have a little bit of a different variety of pastas, throw it in there, it makes it really interesting. We're gonna to toss in our pasta in here, then we're going to add our cheese, and I bought some shredded cheese that is um, cheddar and, and Monterey Jack cheese, or Colby Jack, and it's kinda of nice. You can use a variety of cheeses too, so if you have a little bit of cheeses left over in your fridge, just grate them all up and put them in here, and it's a great way to use them up. And you're gonna add some great flavors to your recipe. So then once we've tossed in our cheese, we're gonna pour it into our nine by 13 pan or your casserole dish if you'd like. You can divide this, make two different ones, freeze one and bring one out and eat it right then. Pour that in, toss it with, um, or sprinkle it with a little bit more shredded cheese and then you're gonna bake it at 350 for about 40 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. And let me show you what it looks like when it comes out. It's gonna have risen up because of the um, hush puppy mix in there. It's gonna bring it up and make it nice and fluffy and more like a cake like almost and then we're going to have the great cheese on top the pasta in here it's a great meal serve it with a side salad or with um, some great green vegetables it would be a great meal all in one dish it's fabulous so i hope you enjoy the crabby mac and cheese and i look forward to seeing you next time on simple cooking